Hey guys, uh, welcome back. We're looking again at the underneath side of that uh, Arvin 451 from around uh, 1950. Uh, just a little instructional video. I want to check uh, just for the fun of it and see what the uh, ripple voltage is off of this uh, capacitor right here that you see, the electrolytic. This does appear to be uh, maybe the, uh, the vintage electrolytic that was there uh, originally. Uh, solder joints do look a little fresh, so maybe it had been replaced, but it's still, either way, it's still a vintage uh, electrolytic uh, capacitor. But again, uh, we're going to do some basic measurements here, then we'll calculate the uh, ripple voltage. This might come in handy out there for others. Of course, one of the obvious signs of uh, ripple voltage is low DC, as well as, uh, you know, extremely bad hum out of these uh, All-American 5 radios and or others. But uh, I tell you, here's what we're going to do uh, to make the measurement. Okay, now to see how we're going to actually make the measurement. Again, I'm going to do this just for reference only because I am going to be replacing this electrolytic capacitor, but I want to see what condition it's in and we'll compare it to new modern day electrolytics and measure the uh, percent of ripple voltage and can compare the legacy uh, capacitor to uh, some new electrolytics. So you can see I moved the uh, meter over on the AC side and what I'm going to do, I'm coming right off of the, I think it's the 40 microfarad side of the capacitor itself and I'm going to use a um, another known capacitor, I think this is a, what that would be, a 0.25 microfarad uh, capacitor and I'm going to use it to block all the DC component. So you can see all I'm doing is coming off of my uh, B plus voltage. And I've got my uh, positive lead attached here. And my ground lead is attached over here on the negative side of the electrolytic. So again, I'm just using this uh, 0.25 microfarad capacitor just to block the uh, DC component so I can truly try to measure the true AC voltage that's uh, actually uh, making its way through the uh, electrolytic capacitor, which there will always be some. So uh, let me just plug in the uh, radio again, fire up the Variac, and bring the uh, line voltage up to 117 volts. And then uh, we'll make some uh, measurements, document it, and then do the math to calculate again the uh, percentage of ripple voltage. Got my meter set here to the AC side, and you can see I'm reading, uh, excuse me, around 3.2 volts or so AC. So um, let me just mark that down here on the sheet, and then we'll come back and reference the sheet. Okay, next what I'll do is actually I'm going just to uh, bypass the uh, capacitor. I'm going to flip the meter here into the off position for a moment. And I'm going to flip it back over here on the DC side. And now we can look again at the DC voltage itself, uh, which is uh, right at 116 volts. But I'll go ahead and mark it down as uh, around 115 point. Uh, just for the ease of math, I'll just go ahead and make it 116 because it's moving around just a bit. So we use uh, 116 even. Okay, again, to uh, <clears throat> review the math, I was looking again at the uh, percent of ripple voltage. Again, I'm just taking the voltage AC uh, divided by the voltage DC. I'm multiplying that by 100 just to get it into a percentage. So in this case, uh, what we just measured was 3.2 volts AC. Again, I used that um, uh, capacitor, uh, 0.25 microfarad capacitor in series off of the uh, the DC strain to try to get a pure uh, AC uh, reading. I divided that by the 116 volts DC that I'm uh, reading on the meter off of the uh, the B plus side of the power supply. And again, 3.2 divided by 116 times 100. Rounding up, I'm about 2.76%. Uh, so again, that would be the percent of ripple voltage. All right, let's get these uh, legacy or vintage uh, capacitor replaced. Uh, it's a multi-section device. Uh, we'll put in uh, modern day 
capacitors. We'll repeat the test and see if we get any uh, improvement whatsoever. Hey guys, I'll show this on uh, picture in picture, but uh, this is a floating chassis. So um, I'll reference the schematic again here in the picture in picture, but you can see the uh, the common or the B minus side is actually common, but not uh, chassis ground. So a uh, little safer radio than some that had a, uh, a hot chassis, but still one to be uh, very cautious about if you um, endeavor in uh, this type of activity. So um, I'm gonna probably end up, I'm gonna look and see how this band is actually attached here. If it's soldered, I'm gonna probably just cut it and then I'll look and see if I can actually uh, just solder in uh, two new capacitors straight to uh, these tie-in points or if I take some other uh, method and procedure. But uh, I can now tell, it looks like, looking at the, uh, the solder itself, it looks uh, more fresh and more recent. Um, so I'd be willing to bet that this uh, uh, Cornell Dupler electrolytic uh, capacitor was put in at a latter date. Um, be interesting, we'll get it out and I'll check the, uh, the uh, value or look at the part number and see if we can match it up and uh, see what year, what the vintage is actually for that particular device. So um, anyway, again, the, uh, the B minus side attaches here and then I've got two connection points uh, back here for the uh, B plus side. Um, if the wiring is correct, the uh, 40 microfarad section should be attached here, the 20 microfarad section here according to the schematic, but again, we'll verify that. So uh, let me just work off camera just for a bit, get this cut out, and then we'll look at how we're going to mount the two new electrolytics, and then we'll repeat the same test to see if we've got any improved uh, ripple voltage. Um, it may be, again, that this uh, capacitor is performing at a, uh, at a good level, um, even though it's, uh, it's aged. Time will tell. Okay, here are the uh, results again now off the uh, 20 microfarad uh, capacitor. And again, I'll show this on the picture in picture on the uh, connection points. 6.09% uh, ripple. Then when I come down to the uh, 40 microfarad, you would expect to see uh, less because of the uh, capacitor value here increasing 2.53%. Uh, and then the least amount again uh, and I'll show this uh, point, the uh, 20 microfarad across the uh, the uh, voltage dropping resistor. You can see it was uh, 0.335%, so less than a half percent uh, ripple. So it was an interesting exercise. The uh, quality, uh, I really can't tell much difference here, just uh, playing the uh, radio. Hey, thanks again for following along and subscribing to uh, my channel. It's appreciated.